As the weather changes, COVID-19 infections are ticking up again. Doctors hope a new vaccine can keep the worst of the virus at bay. As cases rise, you might find yourself reaching in your medicine cabinet again for an old at-home test. How do you know if it's still good to use? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell explains how to check and why some expiration dates were extended. Do you have any at-home COVID tests lying around? I may have one or two still sitting around. Uh, I just used my last one, actually, but I'm all clear. They're in the basement because I, I heard that they're supposed to be kind of in a cool, like, dry place. I don't know if they're expired or what. So if they are expired, are they still good? Generally, expired tests are not good to use. We you know, don't know if the reagents and chemicals in them have broken down over the time that they've been sitting in your cupboard. That said, the FDA has been extending the expiration date on some at-home COVID tests. So the FDA is working with the manufacturers to um, generate more data on how those tests are performing. Dr. Sarah Vetter is with the Minnesota Department of Health. If they can determine that that test has as good as performance after its previous expiration date, they go ahead and extend it. Here's an at-home COVID test that I found lying around my own place, but it did expire four months ago in May. So to check to see if that expiration has been extended, you go to the FDA.gov website, scroll down, match their test, and click extended expiration date. Then you'll find a host of lot numbers. You'll match it to yours. Here's mine. Here's my old expiration. And now it says it's good through December 12th of this year. What's the risk in taking an expired test? Well, the risk is that the test might not actually give you a positive test if you have COVID. I mean, and especially if you're trying to make a decision to go to that party or to just stay home, we, we want to get you the most accurate test possible. I also did two just to be safe, just to make sure the results were accurate and it was negative. So we're good. Tests can still be found at most pharmacies, but some insurance may not cover the cost anymore. Yeah, they're not cheap, you know. But through the Department of Health, every household in Minnesota can still order four at home tests once a month for free while supplies last. Are the current at home tests able to detect the latest variant? Yes. The um, at home tests are designed that they can detect any COVID variant out there. Agencies are no longer tracking every case, so there's no need to report your result. The most important thing to do is just to stay home um, the best you can, five days um, since your symptom onset, and then if you have to go out into the community, you know, wear a mask for 10 days. It's going into the fall, I'll for sure be grabbing a lot more tests and definitely maybe masking up for bigger events. Here's to Mitchell. We do need each other, but we don't need COVID, so let's kick it out of here. WCCO News. The new vaccine targets newer variants of the virus. The CDC says they are safe and effective. It recommends them for everyone that is ages six months and up.